Hi everyone, Lil Jesse here with Pillsbury Doughboy and Gizmo. And today, me and Pillsbury Doughboy are gonna show you how to make some easy treats. Yes, it's some Rice Krispie treats for St. Patrick's Day. I generally don't like the color green because of what, what, what the Hulk did to me. But I'm gonna put that pickle in the pickle aside and show y'all this easy peasy recipe. You really don't like the Hulk, huh? Well, ever since he hit me in that last episode, I haven't been the same. I haven't been able to pick my nose because I'm too scared of, of, of what color might come out. Oh! I've already had enough to deal with, little Jesse, and you almost baked my biscuit buns on this last recording. Wait, what? What? <laughs> wow, these treats look great. Yes, they taste absolutely delicious, little Jesse. But you know what? We're missing something. Oh. We need a wooden spoon to stir it. A wooden spoon? We have one right over here. an accident. He almost turned me into a Betty Crocker fudge brownie. Mmm, I would have tasted good too. Alright everyone, so moving on, you're going to need some Rice Krispie cereal, marshmallows, butter, food coloring, and a pan, and also some butter spray. Now, for heating purposes, you can cook this on the stove or even in the microwave, but we did ours on the stove. Never put metal or foil inside the microwave. Now, you're going to want to put three tablespoons of butter inside that pan and melt it and spread it around. Then you're going to take four cups of marshmallows and pour it in. Mm, look how soft and fluffy they look, just like me. <laughs> After a few moments of stirring it around, you can now put the food coloring. Food coloring is optional. It's up to you if you want to add it or not. But we're adding the color green for St. Patrick's Day now. Now we're ready for the Rice Krispie cereal. You want to put six cups of dry Rice Krispie cereal inside and just stir it around. Churn, baby, churn. Oh yeah. Now as you're mixing it around, you're going to want to have that pan or glass bowl with butter or cooking spray on it. So that way it's ready for you to pour this thing in after it's done. This is to prevent it from sticking to the pan. After patting it down flat, you want to let it cool. Hot, 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 hot. These are hot. Be careful. <laughs> Get your cookie cutter of your choice and press down. And there you go. A beautiful, tasty shamrock rice crispy. Yummy. Hey, these are not bad to make and they're easy. Right, Pillsbury Doughboy? Except for the part when you almost baked me. I'll just drop that already. That was an accident. What did you think, Gizmo? <laughs> yeah, they're really easy to make, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>